Okay, okay, it's time. It's time to talk to everyone again. We're going to talk to the people walking about again, the non-important ones. I don't even remember what they said because they were never important. Uh, so maybe they're just saying the same things, but who knows? Okay. No, it's it's being rich, generally. Though these guys can achieve the same thing, considering they're class one. Emotional support. Oh, well, no, he's about to go to war is why. That's actually why he's there. It's not about settling down. Uses a million will be great. That's nice. Um, this one will be okay. Is particularly lively. Okay. You. Uh, can we go up here at all? No. Um, how about you? We'll talk to you later. Oh, Lake Lord, what are you up to? Thank you. I don't think he will. He's a he's gonna be a fishing guild person, because you know, the fishing guild are the protagonists. How about you two? The four you mean the two heads that are here? Well I guess Muse is here, but nobody knows that. I guess it feels more comfortable for you, so that's sort of fine. Just acknowledge the fact you have and move past it. You're still saying the same things. Okay, you're the last person over here. Maid. Yes, okay, now let's see. Who are we going to talk to? Who sucks as a group? You guys are going to be terrible. Let's go. She's a fangirl, okay. Honestly, her surname just ma reminds me that I miss Grant. He was a nice, fun, complete, random side character. Also looks like the protagonist of East. Uh, it is a bit valueless, but sure. Uh, okay. Why do they have extra dialogue? Why is- why do we need to learn about this? Is Ada ever going to be important? Okay. I guess it shows that Class 7 was inspirational, yay! Right. Think of something else. Yeah. Okay, great. What do you have to say? My god. Well, I know who I'm going to dance with because there's only two choices and I'm not choosing Alfin, okay? I'm just not. Unless I guess I can choose Yuna or Altina. I'm worried about the choice of Altina, so it's basically you know Laura. I just realized I have done ex pretty much. Toa is also an option. I might go with Toa. Or should I just go with Laura to fit as we always have? I don't know. You really don't want to be like your mother. She is a terrible, terrible person. Like a genuinely horrible person. She's like completely divested herself of any responsibility and doesn't think about it at all. She's like, it's just business. And nods along and goes along with it. Just a scumbag, really. 
Uh, you free? Uh, it's not going to be great. Let's go. I'd also like to note, I, the majority of these conversations have been gender divided. It's almost like the series is trying to separate the characters for some reason. Ha! Huh. It really just limits what they can do. Okay. I guess you are slowly, but you're not going to be an Anguis anytime soon in terms of power. I mean, fair enough, honestly. Like, unironically, you need to be one of the adult female characters to have any chance of interacting with any of the men. So it's basically your Sara or your Sharon. It's so frustrating. Look! It's happening everywhere! Sara gets to interact with a man. If they're students, they don't. Sharon gets to interact with men. Students don't. And Milliam is a child, and that's why she gets... Oh, okay, well, I guess we're getting this scene now. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. Just let them talk. Man, these two are so fun together. They're like siblings, yeah. Like, they're really close siblings. It's really fun. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Elliot! Elliot, don't! Don't, 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 Elliot. That's actually hilarious. That was a top-tier bit of comedy from you. Good job, man. Good job. Well, no. Eusis is as mature as he needs to be. Amelia isn't. But it's a fine relationship. It's pleasant. Uxama. <laughs> Maybe when she gets older, she's still like 16. Yakking it up, okay. Sure, have fun. Um, next stop is going to be probably U3. Yeah, U3 next. It's two good characters, but Claire's dragging it down. Oh, I should have gone to Alfin and Priscilla and such. Well, too bad. Well, yeah, makes sense. Oh, sure, yeah, let's tell us. Whoa! So that's why she had to come here. Makes sense. You really should have just sent her to the military academy, though. Not military academy. You should have sent her to the police academy. She would have been happier in Crossbell, though weaker. This worked out, but it was the wrong choice. You probably should go back to Crossbell. And fight for it, you know. Hey, Yuna's done. So Kurt and Yuna are completed as the two I was paying most attention to. Uh, Reen will be finished probably by the main story. Ultina will also be finished by the main story. And Ash will probably be finished by the main story. So Musei <laughs> is the only one I will not have completed of this group. Old Class 7 is easily the most incomplete. I don't know where, where I'm meant to get these notes, honestly. I'm imagining it's coming up. 
but we'll see. Okay. She's not your student at all, though. Oh, wait, what? That makes sense. Also makes sense. You're probably going to rebel with us, though, so we'll see how that goes. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay, next conversation. Easily the least interesting left, you guys. God, it's bad having Musei and Alfin in the same conversation. Again, was it Joshua? It would be a great destabilizing element for the country. And Joshua being sent to do that makes sense. Okay. No, there aren't. At least Alfin's gotten more mature. No, don't! No, no, no. Guys, it's not weird of him to not even think about the prospect because it's so fucked up. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, I can still challenge her? That's funny. Priscilla? What happened, actually? This is huge. So you are also a maid. You're not nobility. Okay, okay, hold on. This is top tier lore. Tell us more. He accepted the throne. What? Was he not on the throne? Okay. But... Osborne has been an issue. Well, you need to act for that change, but I guess you actually do have no power. Right, next grouping is, I guess, you two in a row, I think? That's a good set of choices. A duel to meet, okay. But they were also young, so it probably wasn't that cool a duel. What? What do you mean? Chousting? What? I mean, you two were sort of that at the beginning. Uh, well, she's definitely met Rutger. Yeah, where are the other three? Thank you for mentioning it. We were told in FC about the four fucking S rank braces, and we only have ever met Cassius, who isn't even one yet who isn't even one anymore. So we have three s rank braces just out there, and we're fucking eight games into the main series! Nine if you include Nayuta, but that doesn't matter. 
please mention them once. Give us a name, give us a title, give us like where they are. One has to be in Calvard, right? I've been waiting so, so long. I can't believe they mentioned them. I just left it at that. No, she wouldn't be S rank. She'd be A rank. She'd be close, but I don't think she's going to out, like, class Arios anything. And she doesn't have the ability to be a bracer, no. Well, she, she said she wanted to settle down at the beginning of the game, so I honestly don't know what to think about Aurelia. That was actually a pretty good conversation, though. Not unhappy with that one. One second. Okay, one brief second done. Gwyn. Flooding, okay. There's a dam? Yes, she is a vile demon woman. I have no idea why she cares about Sharon or where that came from. It actually doesn't make any sense for her. Can somebody explain her as a character? What? What is? What is she? It doesn't make sense. What? Okay. I'd see it. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Sharon? No. Just not happening. Absolutely not. Sure. Yep. He's worried about the fact that the war's on the horizon. And I mean, like, right there. Visible on the horizon. Uh, Fritz is going to make that conversation weaker, but it's not bad enough to waste. To not waste. Um, yeah, let's do... You guys. Yeah, makes sense. Not happening. The fact that he can. I love that Patrick hasn't given up, though. Please keep fighting for it, Patrick. You would, you would make this situation so much better. Leave room for 80... Okay, that's not a... That's not a term they should have used. That's a bit too modern. And a bit too, you know, uh... Just let him do it. And somebody tell him to stop. It is very different from Olivier. I mean, it won't get him thrown in prison. I, I don't know why you're saying that, Reen. Right, the last three over here. We'll do... We're gonna do this group last. We'll do you now. Yep. It's true. There's been such a massive jump in the games. We are sort of, yeah. Oh, hello, Lecter. You just came out of nowhere.
Okay. That's cool, actually. But that, you know, that would make far more sense as to why each one is uniquely customized than they do anymore. It doesn't make sense anymore. All the spirit code? What the fuck? Well, I guess this is stuff we'll find out about in Kuro. Yay! Actually, this might be guesses. If th I mean, guessing the name? This is going to be a cool conversation. Uh, too bad we won't get to see it. Right. What? Rice. Oh, we're talking about... Yeah. We're talking about the one that Reen and Co. have used from Olivier. Lecter... Lecter has gone from being completely underused in these games, he's still underused, to actually having a really nice few scenes lately. Like, they've managed to redeem Lecter a bit from how he's been treated in Cold Steel. Uh, magic, my friend, magic. You three. Chess, cool. This is actually a fun one. I mean, semi-finals is impressive. Well, that's all that was. Yeah, it was fun seeing Marcus win and the two of them come together. Uh-huh. He's, he's definitely not. You guys really just need to admit your friends. I mean, you have admitted your friends, but you need to just get along with it. Just, just admit you, you're more similar than you think you are. Right, this could be very interesting or a bit meaningless. We'll see. I remember that. He was just riding on top of the tanks, not expecting to die against Panzer Soldats. It didn't make sense. Interesting. Yeah, he is. We're not going to see Van Dyke this game, it looks like. We may never see Van Dyke again, honestly. He seems completely like they had a plan, like, wait a minute, it doesn't fit. Yep. Wait, hold on. Is this meant to be like, look at how everything's connected for an actual reason, or is it the game patting itself on the back? Yeah, they are. Gaius, you've really grown in this game. Like, you've gone from being someone I didn't really care about too much, you were pleasant, to really liking you. You should. Tournaments are always fun. Right, what are we getting here? Are we done now? Is it dance time? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. To start us off, my sister Alfin will have the first dance. The way I hear it, people all across the Empire have been awaiting this moment for years. Yeah. Yeah, they have. We've had this mentioned in practically every game now. Pictures, pictures. Like me, she is now 17 years old, and this dance will serve as her debut into high society. Her first dance partner shall be... 
a certain instructor at Thor's military academy. We were not given the choice. None okay. other than the Ashen Chevalier, Reen Schwarzer. Hmm, huh. so then he's the princess's. I hear he's only the son of a baron, but I suppose it's okay these days. <laughs> okay, he seems man. to carry himself well. Sure enough. Yeah, there have been rumors going around like wildfire. It's a huge honor, I guess. Is yes. it? Yes. He shall be the princess's first. Sounds dirty when you put it that way. It does. See? Classy, guys. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> that was actually a fun little back and forth. <laughs> he was drowning in fame before, and now everyone's talking like him and the princess are already married. Not happening. Yeah. Seems like everyone's reading way too much into this. Correct. Well, to some degree, yes. <laughs> However will this play out, I wonder. I suppose this is... Shut up, Elise. That's uncomfortable. The first person. To tell the truth, I'm actually already acquainted with Mr. Reen Schwarzer. Okay. He's the older brother of my dearest friend. Allow me to introduce Elise Schwarzer. She is the student council president at St. Astraya Girls School. I swear to fucking God, if they're really doing this to me right now. Princess? And she will be making her debut into high society alongside me tonight. Reen will choose which of us he dances with. No! No! Why? 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 Why them? Anyone else? Even Elisa or Emma? Don't! Whoever he chooses, there will be no hard feelings. Why? Why have you done this? <laughs> Very well played, princess. Oh, what an adorable workaround. She really is something this else. Is, this is disgusting. I hate it so much. Princess. <laughs> You're well, I'm choosing Alfin over Elise. Elise is the worst one. She really is. I will respectfully take both the hand of my sister and her best I'm friend, the princess. There's no way. It might be a bit unorthodox, but please allow us Schwarzer siblings. They're to actually have the first trying dance. to make my life as bad as possible. Why? This is so cursed. Oh, it's so cursed. I thought I'd get a choice, you know? idea this was my word can one man truly be this lucky I'd say he's very <laughs> unlucky lucky enough to dodge that bullet you mean yes had he danced with the princess first the whole city would be planning their honeymoon by now I wonder However, I since don't he think he did that sister danced first that ship has sailed as it were <laughs> well played I oh, guess Alfin. that ashen chevalier is certainly quite the man wouldn't you agree? No. <laughs> you can thank Baron Schwarzer for raising him that way. Hmm. Uh-huh. Now, all you young people here with us, follow their lead and enjoy yourselves. Yeah, sure. The Goodbye. Summer Festival's blue moon shines on us this night. I am Let, certain Let's the finish this part of the game now. Alive. We don't need this dancing. So, let us give them a show. Let's get to the good parts tonight, you know? <laughs> okay, random pairings. Apart from Kurt and Yuna, yeah, I do support that. Very random stuff here. Yes, yes, Patrick! Yes! You can do it! <laughs> Sorry. Um... <clears throat> I may have gotten over eager there. Yep. 
You want to say anything you know? Is this just going to be a thing? Okay, it's just a thing. This is such a weird scene. I don't like it. It could have been a cool scene, but it's just a bit like... But still, My apologies for arriving Ace and Patrick, so late. fuck, Rufus is here. Uh, okay, things are going to go Rufus. fucking super down. Ah, okay. So good to see you. Hmm. Is that Governor General Rufus? I didn't know he was coming. <laughs> it seems you've stolen the spotlight all to yourself. Intended. To Intended. tell the truth, I was at a party held by the Imperial Household Agency. I wish to greet His Highness Oliver, Governor Regnitz, Lord Rogner, and Viscount Arsade before making my way here. Okay. I see. Thank you for your courtesy. The night is yet young, and the party has only just begun. Bring out more food and drinks. Please continue to enjoy yourselves, by all means. Do we get another chance to talk to everyone? Because that'd be insane. The amount of dialogue here would be out of this world. You, sis, come with me. Let us catch up, my dear brother. Machia, oh Elisa, Elliot, and Laura as well. Join us. I'm sure we've much to talk about. Okay, those are targeted, right? Those are the people with uh, connections inside of the Imperial sort of court, let's say. In that case, I shall call upon Ms. Valestine and Ms. Herschel. Uh, Nayuta and... The Braces? Or, or Northambria? Come. Allow me to introduce you to the Empress. What is this for? What's this about all of a sudden? Yeah, very... I don't know. There's no way we can refuse. So Emma and Fee have been left. Milliam's been left. Gaius has been Why left. Why just us, though? Does I it have something Reed. to do with our families? Yeah, yes. that's what it looks like. Think about it. May as well get going, then. <coughs> um, um, I suppose I'll go. I wonder what they're talking about. Think we should bad, follow? Bad things. Yeah. Reen! Oh, Claire! What's wrong? Well, this may come as a surprise, but a certain someone would like to speak with you. Cedric? He's looking at us. You mean the someone who just left, perhaps? Osborne? Understood. I'll be going, everyone. Yes. Good luck. Try not to be too nervous! Reen? Things are ending, I guess. Huh. Things are ending. Or at least coming to that. Just go straight to the, end of the hall, then make a right. Okay. Oh, it's Eugent. Can't leave. No, move out of the way, Claire, so I can check. Right. So Alfin is completed, thank god. I don't need to think about Alfin ever again. Where's Elise? She's done too. Right, they're done, thank god. What are you up to, random lady? Okay, so we need to head, I guess, over there. What's in here? Waiting room for guests. Can we check all of them? Right. It's luxurious. It is luxurious. It's a sizable lounge for palace guests. Why aren't you at the party, guys? Bathrooms? Yep. Okay. Sure. You? Nothing important being said by anyone. Makes sense, though. There's the back room. Yes, let's go. Not quite yet. Okay. Let's get the save in, and let's see what the fuck we have coming for us now. Can we talk to you? No. Okay, well, in we go. Serene Schwarzer has arrived. Very good. See him in. We've gone so much more voice acting at this part of the game. There's definitely, you know, they put their budget here. There's definitely a bit of a imbalance.
Right, I Agent. apologize for calling you here like this, Instructor Schwarzer. No, it's an honor to have an audience with the Emperor. Your dances with your sister and Alfin were a sight to behold. Your skills as a lead were just as impressive as the rumors suggested. What rumors? I'm where? sure my daughter was very happy. Where would those have come from? He's never danced um, with anyone before. Well, well, I guess he did at the bonfire. <laughs> I'm only joking. You've helped out Oliver numerous times. You've rescued Alfin twice, and you saved Cedric's life at the end of the Civil War. He has done a My lot. entire family is grateful for everything you and the rest of Class 7 has done. As the Awakener of the Ashen Knight, the very same one my ancestor once piloted, you have saved many lives and averted many crises. Uh huh. So you knew the truth about Emperor Dreykel's? Yes, did. indeed. As well as the relationship between the Chancellor and yourself. Okay. <laughs> oh, Reem's shocked. You know that too? You just know yes, a lot. I figured it out somewhere along the way. When I asked, the Chancellor didn't deny it. So I took that to mean my suspicions were correct. He and I have much in common. Both of us have lost loved ones to the foolish schemes of others. Oh, how did all of its mother die then? I've heard about the Chancellor, but your highness? It happened long ago. Have you perhaps heard anything regarding Oliver's birth mother? I may have heard a rumor once. Apparently she was a commoner, but she passed away tragically. Isn't Priscilla... I guess she can be a noble maid? That's a bit weird. She was at Fours. Okay. Makes sense. Sure. His mother looks nice. Why did she never say yes? Oh. Damn. My father passed on and wait, what? Your father died from this? Oh, from you. I'm an idiot. I, I forgot about this part. I was thinking about the other parts. Okay. He doesn't really love Priscilla, I guess. I guess Priscilla was quite a, is quite a good person. I had no idea, but are you sure it's all right to tell me all this? It's no great secret. Most of the larger noble families already know. But my point is this, both the Chancellor and I lost loved ones. But our sons yet live. Certainly a unique point of commonality, wouldn't you say? I suppose. That's true. Is that why you appointed him as Imperial Chancellor? It's true that I felt an affinity with him. However, the most important factor was his negotiation of the ceasefire okay. in the borough. The events of Hamel wounded my heart deeply, but I knew I could not allow them to be made public. I guess it would be he truly chaotic. He managed to get both the four great houses and the borough to concede to his terms and put the Hundred Days' War to an end. And so rose the first common-born Imperial Chancellor. Now I understand, but in the 13 years since he became Chancellor, a lot has changed. The nobles have lost power, while he's only gotten stronger. That's correct. He's using that power to steer Erebonia in a dangerous direction. Good With all due respect, out. I don't think it's right to sit back and let him continue. Well, it's what he wants. I understand your concern. Oliver's as well. Oliver is more concerned for his brother and sister's future. Music's cut anyone. off. This, this is about to turn bad in for us. In that respect, he sees the Chancellor as a bigger threat than the nobles do. However, things are not so simple. Regarding myself and the Chancellor, tragedies like Hamel, at times, this nation will make the most tragically foolish decisions. During okay. the War of the Lions, 
The brothers of the royal family spilled each other's blood and pulled the nation into their feud. The history of Erebonia is smeared with blood and alight with flames. More than any other country. D that's... he's right. Deception is an important tool in politics and war, but the thought of killing your own people as an excuse to invade another country. As yeah. a teacher of history, I'm sure you have your own thoughts on this matter. So tell me, do you know the people of Erebonia to have a cruel temperament? A, a tad, but not really. No. The people of Erebonia are sincere and value honor and pride. The latter is very true. I'm not sure about the honor. They think highly of martial skill. But no, it is a virtue to use it Not only true, when absolutely necessary. You really haven't noticed that they've been invading willy-nilly and been very you happy spoke about of. it? It's almost as though a devil had been whispering in their ear. Yeah? It's almost like there has been one. Weissman <sighs> and Osborne. Precisely. There is something in Erebonia. Something which bends people's minds and steers them toward chaos. Perhaps it could be called a curse. One that has been with us since the founding of this nation. If you've read the Black Records, you I may have, have some the idea shadow of the Trichal Saw. The, the Black Records? It would seem the Church is seeking them out. But the original writings are in the Imperial family's possession. Okay. Only those who succeed the throne are permitted to read them. They are records of the truth of this nation's history and a prophecy of its future. An inevitable uh -huh. future, no doubt. I'm certain any attempts to avoid it will only cause things to become further warped and twisted. This is great. This conversation's fantastic. That is one of the reasons I am not putting a stop to the Chancellor's actions. <sighs> sure, I know all the details, but... Both the Chancellor and His Highness understand the situation fully, yet they... And so, I plan to not avert my eyes and watch to the end. Huh? As the ruler of Erebonia, the Empire mired in darkness and founded under a curse, I shall watch my sons, the Crimson Wings, the new light of the nobility, and Class Seven, both old and new to see if any of them can overcome the iron will of the Chancellor and light the way to a new path for it's this nation. It's going to be Olivier and co, particularly, that are going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. In fact, they've already done a lot of the heavy lifting. <sighs> like, if it wasn't for Olivier, we'd be fucked. There's no chance. Olivier has done, like, 90% of the legwork, and we've done the actual fighting. I promise to give everything I have to find this new path, not just as a member of Class 7. Don't mention Class 7! But on behalf of Thor's Military Academy and all its students and graduates. Who cares about that? You're a person in Erebonia. Care about the citizenry. Care about anything else. Not the fact you're a student or a graduate. <laughs> you're aware that would include both myself and the Chancellor. Yes. I suppose he is. But all the same, well said. Okay. Okay, so that's part one of the things happening tonight, I guess. Welcome back. I'm not sure what you two spoke about, but I trust it was well worth the time? Yes, most definitely. Precisely. There is something in Erebonia. Something which bends people's minds and steers them toward chaos. Rain. It's nothing. Um, Major, can I ask you something? Uh-huh. Finished with your chat? Oh shit, Osborne's here. Let's go. <laughs> your Excellency. It would appear you want no need to speak with me about something. I can't take too much time out of my schedule, but I have a room prepared. Let's go. Shall we? <gasps> it's finally time to learn more about Osborne in full after fucking Forever. Yes, let's go. It's like a whole series build up. Ash is here. 
Where are you headed, Ash? With his gun. Eh, I gotta take a piss. Wanna join me? Is he gonna try and assassinate Osborne? I think I'll pass. But let me say this. Don't so much as think about sneaking out. Huh? Osborne was involved in Hamill, right? I really do believe that. I admit that. it's a bit nerve-wracking, but this truly is a special event. It doesn't quite add up. We should all up, enjoy so it I... together as Class 7. Who would have guessed the pretty boy was just as big of a nag as that wild filly? Maybe somewhere along the line, I let those guys get to me. You sure did. Oh, is something the matter, sir? Oh, yeah, I was just on my way back from the bathroom, but I noticed something strange. Something uh -huh. strange, sir? Yeah, it's just around the corner here. He's gonna knock him out. He's gonna shoot Osborne, and then Osborne will be fine somehow. I believe somehow. this will be the first time we've been able to speak one on one. I mean, one the one. eye is still somewhere. We haven't seen the eye from the opening. Since, of course, that day, 14 years ago. <laughs> okay. His Majesty told me. General Craig, too. So I've heard. His Majesty knows the truth of my circumstances. More or less. Craig and Van Dyke, on the other hand, only know the facts that float on the surface. They remain in the dark as to what truly happened to Brigadier General Gileath Osborne. Then will uh -huh. you tell me? Please? What happened 14 years ago? Please finally enlighten us, Osborne. Why did you leave me? Who are you? Why did you leave your son? Why did you become a completely different person? Well, he wasn't You trampled over guns. everything in your way, robbed the people of their pride and independence, and planted the seeds of the Civil War. After what you did to Jirai, you annexed Crossbelt and North Ambria, and now you're planning a war with Calvard. At the same time, you're working with the Black Workshop and trying to bring all the darkest parts of the world toward the surface. What That's about are right. you... No. Why are you doing this? It sounds as though you've figured a great many things out on your own. First, allow me to commend you for not being consumed by your false hero's title. <laughs> Very well. I shall start with your first question. After okay. I lost Kasha, that was her name. I left you in Ymir, and three months later His Majesty bid me investigate the Hamel incident. Afterward, I went to negotiate with the Queen of Labur. So he wasn't behind it at all, confirmed. The Queen agonized over the decision, but I knew she wanted peace as soon as possible. Eventually, she agreed to the terms of the ceasefire. The noble officers behind everything, led by Lecter's father, were given the death penalty, and the four great houses were put in check, all, all adds up. in a single month. In recognition of my accomplishment, his Majesty appointed me Chancellor. You did a lot of work and you were already famous, so it does make I'm sense. I'm grateful to Teo. He accepted my request not to reveal anything to you, but at the same time, it meant I had to sever my ties to both you and him. As a revolutionary, taking on the four great houses, I needed to be on my own. I couldn't have anything holding me back. All this adds up to the initial impression of Osborne, where he's just trying to defeat the four great houses. <sighs> so her name was Kasha, focused on it. the woman who gave birth to me. Once I became Chancellor, I crushed those who opposed me, expanded our railway network, and garnered even more power. Behind Ooh, the scenes, sensible. I also made deals with Yeah, he did make deals with Ouroboros. It had to forces happen. with the Black Workshop. It was, in fact, exactly as expected. I always, beforehand, you know, I was always like, yeah, he's working with Ouroboros. Then it seemed like he wasn't, he had, in fact, been working with Ouroboros. Thank God, I was not wrong. After the incident in Laburl, I cut there ties we go. with the snakes 
and robbed them of the black workshop. It was soil. after Weissman, so after we stopped really learning more about their relationship. That makes sense. Then, two years ago, I used Rufus to fell the Noble Alliance from within. And ultimately, I stole Ouroboros' Phantasmal Blaze plan. Can, right can you explain it to us now? What even is the Phantasmal Blaze plan? Thank you, Reed. Thank you. Finally, somebody is asking the question. And what are you planning to do with it? <laughs> By this point, it's safe to say Ouroboros' goal is no different from their gospel plan in Laburo. The acquisition yep, of yep. Adios' treasures. The Septarian. Finally, we're confirming that's their goal. In Crossbell. They used the false phantom. It is true, that's exactly what they did. Yes. the blaze in Erebonia. Oh, it's all adding up. But the prize they seek is more than simply that blaze. To be clear, this was all readable, expectable, inferable. But getting it confirmed is so fucking pleasant. More than the flame septarian, yeah. Oh, that's new art. This dark land once housed two treasures. That merged into the great power, the right? The between the two of them resulted in the creation of the Great One. Okay. All the people, things, and history of Erebonia are inexorably entangled in its blessings and its curse. I'm sure you've been able to deduce that much from certain historical documents you've been reading. Okay, I have sort of what deduced this. Pardon me, Your Excellency. The Emperor is calling for you. No! Understood. No! That should be all for now. No! You can't do this to me! You can't do this to me! Wait! We're not done You're yet! You're just on the surface! There's no, no, so no. much more I yes. need to ask! How did you survive being shot through the heart? Also another good question. So many questions. Are you the same as the Jaeger King, the Steel Maiden, and Siegfried? Or... Like you? Does it have something to do with the scar on my chest and this power I have? Good question. Fourteen years ago, when we were attacked, your heart was punctured by debris. Oh, okay. Kasha, your mother, she begged me to say. Wait, you. how the fuck did you do that? So, I made the decision. Huh? To give my heart to my son. Huh? <gasps> what do you mean? That is the reason Crow Armbra shot to my chest and you don't have a find its How are you like? How did you do that? I'll what? I'll leave the rest for you to figure out. It's the same riddle I've given to the Iron Bloods. What do you mean? Who the fuck are you? Major, escort him I back. I was certain it was his mother that Our did all of his mystical shit. Seems a bit disoriented what? at the moment. <laughs> What? <laughs> he doesn't. How does he? Huh? Okay, he stole his clothing. Different hairstyle. Very recognizable still by anyone who pays attention. A resin gun that fires gunpowder bullets? Can't be found by metal detectors. Oh. Everything falling into place like this is way too convenient. I don't like it. It's intended. Well, I guess beggars can't be choosers. She's walking to that door, dude. You can't let her in. I'm... Look, they gave me so many little things there. I'm just glad we've confirmed Ouroboros' intent with the Phantasmal Blaze plan. And his heart thing? <laughs> Oh, that's good. Now give me more. Give me more. It's been I so know long. His Excellency isn't a normal person, but I believe somewhere deep down he still cares for you. Huh? Myself, Lecter, 
Milliam, likely even Rufus as well. His Excellency has personally lent his help to each of us. It's possible he thought of us as a replacement for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll try to sort through all this, somehow. What caused him to change so much? After Rain. Hamill, he did his research, but what led to, like, all of that strong will? Instructor Rain! Oh, everyone's running in a group? Okay. I heard His Majesty called you in to speak with him? Chancellor Osborne as well. You spoke with both of them? You're looking a little bit green around the gills there. She's right. What happened? Important I stuff. can't talk about it just yet. We didn't get any new revelations about Phantasm Plays or the Great Power, but we just had things confirmed. Thank you for confirming it. I've been waiting so long. All I can say is that nothing is over yet, and something's about to begin. Once this party's over, can we all get together and talk? Probably not getting a chance. Yes, Rufus of is here, you know. I think I can better explain what's going on behind the scenes now. Wait, is is if Rufus with them? I'll tell you all about my circumstances too. I, I didn't too. notice or not. Yes. Um, we can come too, right? Yeah, we're all on the same boat at this point. You too, Joa. Uh, of course, I'll be there. Hmm. Where's Ash? About to do something reckless. Huh? And insane. I don't see him anywhere nearby. Wasn't he talking with you earlier, Kurt? Yes, he said he needed to use the restroom. Though that was some time ago. <laughs> Is it happening? Intuition. Go! Lecter, Claire! So that's how the Orphan of Hamel's gonna be used, huh? Claire! Millian, with me! Let's follow them. He's not gonna kill Eugent, is he? Oh, where is everyone headed? Did something happen? Please wait here. I'll go ask. Oh, of course, Elise needs to come with us, and Rufus is just having fun. He certainly doesn't change. Ah, but that's what makes him him. Ah, oh, Cedric. He's a warrior with an iron will. Ready to put his life on the line. Working of Osborne. It's comforting to know such a person is Yeah, our yeah, yeah. It's expected the moment you became friendly. Well, well, it would appear you're already fitting in as a member of the group. Earlier? Okay. I plan to make this announcement during the summer festival. The war? I can't imagine it will be easy. But knowing you, you're already well prepared. You're too kind. <laughs> okay. The intrusion. He's covering his eye. This is the power he has, whatever it is. You are... Ash Carbide of Thor's Branch Campus, Class 7. The third survivor of Hamel. Yeah. What have you come here for? This is cool, man. Hamel. So it comes back to that yet again. Hamel is important, man. My left eye's aching real bad. Been that way since I was a kid. Well, I. Perhaps it's to do with Osborne's eye in the opening? That scene is burned into it. How did you survive? Even years later, when I was taking care of my mom, I kept hearing the voice. A voice? Wait, is this the darkness that... Dreykel's had? Kill the vile one. Kill the vile one. Huh? The Whereabouts that light? attacked the town were slaughtered. You executed all the masterminds. Hamel's name was wiped off the map. You're the one who let this happen, Emperor. Maybe the Queen of Liberal is just as guilty for keeping quiet. In a way, yes. Or maybe the other two, for running away and leaving me for dead. You're blaming Joshua and Lo? How the fuck were they meant to know you were alive? Even that scarecrow guy, the son of the mastermind. Do they even know you well? Hey, 
tell me. What the fuck? Who do I gotta kill? To get rid of all this pain! Oh my god, that's a great- Oh god, okay! Voice acting. Okay. Curse. Yes. This is the sacrifice from the prophecy. It is only fitting it be me. But don't aim for my heart. That won't do you any good. Aim here. There's no way we're having Osborne die in the third game. It has to be Uten, right? Osborne has been like the, set up as a villain for so long. We can't have him die before the finale of the Erebonia arc. It would be your best chance of killing me. If there is any Okay, he doesn't think it will definitely kill him. <laughs> Ash, was it? It won't work on him. He's no human. I have okay, my doubts is he's he even then? capable of dying. Is he related to Nayuta in some sense? That would be interesting. Anyway. Your Majesty. I don't want this young man's actions to be wasted. Yujin is going to fucking die. Holy shit. Ash. I am Holy. the one responsible for Hamo. Uh-huh. Let your years of suffering end with me. Why the hell would... Would you? Yeah! Holy shit! <gasps> what? Huh? Oh my God, he's dead! Oh fuck! Damn it! He needs medical attention. Heal so his medicure so you him. He's got to be dead, right? Please let him be dead. I'm so scared he's not dead. Father. Oh. The princess. Be strong, your highness. Get the medics. He's lost too much blood. Be careful moving him. Is he the one responsible? Yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately? What do you mean? I thought we'd captured all the Calvardian agents. Is there a and chance is... he was one of them? And this is how they started the Wolf Calvard. A Vern Company gun made with resin parts. It Holy would not have been fuck. Found by a metal Holy fuck. Unfortunately, I cannot deny the possibility. Osborne. The, the, the cut off there? The chapter 4 is done. Holy fuck, we're going to war, baby! <laughs> that was so good. Oh my god. Like, that last part was so good. Holy fuck. The emotional depth there was fantastic. And the revelations, oh my god, and we're not even done, I think. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the episode here, and we're gonna go next immediately. I'll see you then.